The city of Lachin in western Azerbaijan feels like a vast construction site. Everywhere you look, efforts to erase the scars of the last all-out war between Armenia and Azerbaijan are evident. Three years ago, Russia brokered a ceasefire deal that saw Azerbaijan take back parts of the Nagorno-Karabakh from Armenia. This area is so strategic that shortly after the agreement, Moscow sent its troops here to monitor the deal and stand between the two sides. Today, the so-called Lachin Corridor no longer goes through here, and the soldiers have largely relocated. But the importance of the town is undeniable. Tanks have been replaced by construction trucks and a significant investment has been made in this city to rebuild but also to build anew with the objective of bringing people back to Lachin. Your great grandfather. Yeah, great, great grandfather house. Uh -huh. This one, my grandfather house. That one. Yeah. Hikmat's family is among them. Hikmat, you were saying that you were not born here. Yeah. But I'm you not born. feel like you are from Lachin, why? Yeah, because uh, my parents, my grandparents, every time talking Lachin. About Lachin? About Lachin, yeah, every time. What did they say to you about Lachin? <sighs> I don't know, they are, they are just feeling so bad. They are missing every time. He takes us to the home he says belonged to his grandparents, where his mother, uncles and aunts were born and raised. Gülşen says she and, hopes uh, to celebrate her 60th birthday here Lachin? next year. But part of this family's journey included more painful moments, like looking for their grandparents' grave in a cemetery nearby. Here, the resentment towards the other side becomes very clear. For now, the incomprehensible pain might be the one thing the two sides have in common. While negotiations continue between the leaders of Azerbaijan and Armenia, the road to lasting peace will have to include the people, who still seem overtaken by the indelible marks multiple conflicts have left. And that will take more than concrete and bricks to hide. Annelise Borges in Lachin, Western Azerbaijan, for Euronews.